Hi, welcome uh, everyone. Good morning. Um, so yes, today we are meeting for this Appian demo session uh, where we talk about the what is an Appian, how it works, and what is the you know uh, current position in the market for Appian developers now. So before we uh, uh, go going to start this thing, uh, let me um, ask each one of you like uh, anyone has idea what Appian is and um, Yeah, I just have a brief idea. It's a BPM tool for business process management. And like I heard that it can, we can do anything with that in like automation or workflows uh, or uh, even uh, the graphs kind of thing, the charting thing, reporting. Yeah, so just a basic idea I got. And uh, we are trying to implement Appian in our project. So hence, that's why I'm here to learn, trying to learn it. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, basically, uh, what uh, uh, like mentioned, even what I heard, right? When we are working with the Java code, right? So we build an application more than some eight to nine months. But when we are going with Appian, right? So we'll build application in less than three months. That is one where it will be uh, more. Uh, uh, it it having this kind of uh, uh, the importance has been gone to Appian. That is what one part which I need to add here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Appian is basically called BPM tool, right? So what is a BPM? Basically, BPM would say business process management. That is what uh, we'll call. So. Uh -huh. Okay. So business process management, right? So what is a business? So anything, any requirement that comes to the customer sites, that's we are going calling as a business, right? That we need to implement. And when you process that data, right? Once you uh, business, what business gives you? Business gives you the data, and they want to process it in a particular manner. Like if they want to store it somewhere, they want to add some details, manipulate some, do some calculation, you know, upload some data somewhere else. So when they ask to process their data. And then we have to also manage those data. So all this entirely combines as a business process management. So what is the process basically? Once, let's suppose, you know, once you, uh, the workflow of your data, you know, from where to where it, it needs to go, like based on some data, you created a task, and that task needs to go for some approval. Meanwhile, it has to send some email and all right. So all this contains a process, right? it's just a process. From a set of rules, you can mention that, you know, what needs to be done, with some data that has been provided by the business. That is what we talk about the business process management. All right. Um, let me know if you can see my screen. Yes. So, Appian. You know, definitely, as you guys mentioned, that it's it's a very fast. I, I'm not able to see any screen. Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here as well. I, I'm not able to see your screen. Okay. <laughs> Give me one. <laughs> Can you see it now? Uh, not yet. I'm just uh, uh, just bring a PDF file. Mm, not yet. Here. Not yet. Like it's saying that stop sharing it means I'm sharing the screen. Okay. Yeah, I'm able to see it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, even I don't able to see it now. 
Perfect. Okay, so as you guys mentioned that it's faster and then it's a very low code. So what is the relation between this faster and low code? Because you know both are interrelated. Why why it is faster? Because it is a low code. So as you mentioned, right, Java, you have to write a lot of code and then you have to, you know, uh, like for everything you have to write in code, right? But in Appian, it's it's a low code platform. So you have to write very minimal code, like just only for the logics and all that. Otherwise, you don't have to, uh, you know, write the codes for like, uh, you know, like if you want to create an, a text box, right? So you don't have to write a code for that. One. The text box is a drag and drop. So Appian is basically a drag and drop uh tool where you can uh, you know drag your objects what you want to design and then you drop on your uh, code panel and then it will all automatically generate the codes so what you have to do is that you only have to put some logics you know like you should not be adding characters that too also is uh, already added to the uh, you know um, the rules like for, for example i'm giving if you want to put some validation that you know i whatever user is inserting that should not be more than 50 characters those kind of logic you want to put that you know like if simple if condition or looping concern something those kind of codings are there so that's the reason it is very faster um you can quickly design a screen and it also gives you some you know default template if you want to have use some default template you can use that as well and for like if this is about the interfaces now if you talk about the uh, process modeling right process modeling is to define the process for an set of rules what needs to be done on the application so there also we have something called smart services which is which doesn't require much coding to you know perform the task like suppose if you want to send an email to the third party or some anyone else in that case you don't have to write a code for you know connection connection and all right you just have to config uh, drag the email smart service and do some configuration like to whom the email should be sent and uh, what should the email body and all right and then you uh, the email will be uh, you know or um, sent to that particular recipient similar for the data store entity like you no know, we have also other smart services like data store entity you don't have to write the code for data store entity you just have to do some configuration like what data needs to be right and where it needs to be right it, it will automatically do the configuration and the connections uh, uh, connection strings and then you know it will write the data to the database so that's why uh, it's very faster and it's a very low code platform all right so what we are going to discuss today is like you know what is that about like btmn uh, business process module and uh, notations and then what's the market position of this one uh low code and appian what we also just and where the appian fits you know and uh, what's the data and the process object and components architecture showcase and then uh, we'll try to see some i can walk through um, and then there is operations and all right so what is the bpm notations bpm notations you know uh, it's basically it's, it's a notation diagram which shows you the workflow you know if you if you start designing the process model you know in your app and you will be seeing that uh, your process model will also look like the same you know structural kind uh, kind of similar structure you know where you will have the start note and then you will have the end event so to decide you know from where to where a process has to be uh, you know, uh, flows uh, in order to complete the requirement. Um, so it basically has, you know, uh, you see this one, it has been divided into two parts, like, you know, customers and the online shopping. This is what we call is theme lanes, just to showcase your process model in a, uh, you know, good uh, readability that user can understand, okay, this particular part is for the customers and this particular part is for the online I mean, online shopping or the system you can mention, and they can connect to each other and then you work right. And the objects, connecting objects are like the gateways, the uh, the script task, and then the some smart services and all right. Few objects, uh, few objects that we decide about, like you know, what are the smart services we are using in order to complete the requirement and all. Okay. Uh, as we already discussed, what is an Appian? So it's it's a BPM, uh, uh, you know, BPM tool. Uh, so many places they say what is an BPM and what is an Appian. So BPM is a process, you know, that's a concept, and Appian is a tool of that for that particular concept. Okay. Um. So initially, uh, you know, right now the competitor of Appian is like IBM and then uh, Salesforce. Uh, these are the competitors in the current market for uh, 
with IPN, but the IPN is, is still holding the uh, top position because it's very easy to install. I mean, and it's very it, it contains all the you know packages in one. Uh, like if you go for the uh, IBM, right? So IBM has a different package for development, different package for database, different package for you know um, some set of uh, different objects like uh, smart service and all. But in Appian, uh, it comes with all these everything in the one single package, and it, uh, you know so you don't have to pay the different licensing for those uh, different services. Uh, <coughs> so. Uh, what is digital uh, transformation like you know appian uses the process modeling which is a very um, you know uh, enhanced feature and then you can say easy feature of you know deciding your workflow where from where to where it has to be uh, the data has to be processed as we also we decide about the low code appian so it's a very low code you know um, you don't have to write much code like uh, smaller codes like if condition looping condition so and those uh, codes will be like you know very similar to the java because appian tool itself is developed into java java code right so it's very simple like if condition and then true part and then false part in the true part you can also like you know uh, put some conditions like uh, equal to greater than smaller than so all those codes will be very similar to the java code and uh, you just it like you know when an appian is very uh, you know what i can say is like um very interactive with other applications as well you know it, the api and then integration makes it very easy to connect with other third party system and then third also allow the third party system to connect with the appian so in that way appian is also you know uh, uh very easy to configure and then it, it's uh, allow uh, you know dynamic features with the third parties <clears throat> yeah it's, it's very easy to build and uh, run enterprises great software you know you see this one all these are the um appian screens that you are seeing on the screen right now and you don't have to do much coding like you no know, i mean it's just a one configuration that you know that will decide where you want to show your uh, interfaces is in mobile or in the computer or the tab it, you know it automated it automatically configures uh, you know uh, adjusted the screens according to the device that you are using it um yeah there's a few companies which are using this uh, you know app in, and they they have given their inputs like you know like if we are they're saying that 12 months clinical trial startup line reduced by 1.5 months you know so this is how uh, uh, this is i mean fast the appian is uh reduce the reporting time from hours to three minutes yes definitely because you know someone has already discussed like uh, reporting is very easy in appian so you know we can generate a uh, um you know uh, reports like pie chart line chart bar chart column chart all those things are very easy easily configured you don't have to write much code and then you know um, it's and the color combinations are also very dynamic you can put those are everything are kind of configurable right you know so it's very quick to generate the reports and then display on the screen yes lower cost and fewer errors even though you know if there are some errors while writing the code itself you will be get notified that okay you have missed some comma or you have missed some you know extra bracket is added or there's a uh, in mismatching in the brackets and then you no know, such kind of error you can straight away see on the screen i don't have to do compile and then check it where the error is it will it will give you the errors with the line number mentioned into your code so that is very easy to uh, you know uh, uh, find that error which which causes the very less error and make it a faster execution and all this things right <coughs> sorry <coughs> so market positioning you know appian is the a top leader right now in for the bpm marketing and uh, why because you know it, it's, it's a low code first of all it's a very low code uh, it also allows you the process automations and it uh, also allow uh, combine with the case management things you can combine all these things which makes it very dynamic application to be built so it's very you know it's right now it's a uh, market leader in the current position <coughs> yeah there are the charts that was uh, you know, long back but you know after that after 2020 appian has grow uh, grows much more so you know 
uh, this overall rating 4.7 is currently i guess it's, it's 4.9 out of 5 and then uh, so appian was leading the market from 20, in 2020 uh, 2020 and right now also it is currently leading the market and uh, it is going to be in, in market for a long time because appian releases you know every three months uh, that's one quarter every quarter it releases one, uh, an enhancement and the what you can say that an upgrade of your upgrade your application so you know uh, like this year is 2022 so in march january february march it will re uh, release the 22.1 version and uh, another three months it will release the 22.2 version and like 22.3 and 22.4 so every year it releases four versions of the upgrade versions of the appian <coughs> which they are uh, enhancing a lot every quarter Okay, so where Appian fits basically, you know, Appian, uh, if you want to create a new application within the Appian, so Appian fits there. And it's not like if you have one Appian environment, you can build only one application. In one environment, you can build n number of applications within your Appian. And this Appian, you know, um, this Appian comes with also the inbuilt uh, Maria database. Uh, initially it was mysql but now it has been changed to the maria database but it's not like that you need to use only the maria database and build database that it has you can also include your any third party database and or existing database with your applications like uh, say sql server mysql and anything whatever you have, oracle then you can connect as well and that is very easy you just have to add a connection strings in your, uh, in your data store and that data base will be available to your uh, development uh, now suppose if you are using currently uh, like SAP, UiPath, People Software, and other applications, and you want to integrate and you want to uh, integrate with Appian, like you know, uh, for example, if you want, if you don't want to change your current screen now, right, and you want to from the current screen, if you want to save your data to the Appian as a backend process, you can definitely use that. And yeah, I mean, this can be communicated between these two applications, and also you can overlap this app in and you can connect to the other applications like you know uh, box and and oracle and apics and whatever you have in that you can connect to the app in that as well <laughs> yes so app in is what i mean it's data plus process basically whatever application we build right that's nothing but the data and how do we process the data uh to, you know to achieve the requirement so yeah uh, it's a unified data artificial intelligence now appian has also you know uh, given the you know robotic rpa robotic process automation uh, feature in in, in appian uh, if you can definitely uh, you know install the robots and then you know bots and then you can that will be you know easier job if you have such complications like and then uh, uh, just one question sorry for interrupting so since you mentioned rpa uh, so mm -hmm. is it Appian's own RPA or? Uh, yes, it's an Appian. Okay, so is it quite relevant to the UiPath uh, interface, like how we work with UiPath, or will it be completely different? So Appian uh, uh, RPA, it's, it's a complete. Uh, I mean, not completely different, but it's kind of you know. Here also, you have to design some bots, and then you have to you know install your bots on your system, which will execute and all right. So. Uh, you have to bring your bots online, but it's like the process of designing it is a little bit different from the UI pad and all. Okay, fine. Yeah. Thank you. And you can also uh, include your UI path and then automation anywhere. All those things also you can perform. Right? Just give me one minute. Okay, so this um, RP thing, yeah, and then um, uh, what I was saying that you know uh, UI path and automation anywhere even also use those and you know you have to just um, I mean kind of integration you have to perform and then you can do that. Um, Now, suppose you want to uh, convert your existing application to Appian, and how how it works, you know, and then how how complex is the integration is, and then you know 
So, you know, if your data resides in some third-party database, right, as I mentioned, you can easily connect with the third-party database and you can, uh, you know, bring your data to the APN. I mean, it's not like the only one database. Suppose there are multiple databases that your current application was uh, using that, you know, some, some data resides in the Oracle, uh, some different database. Oracle has a three different databases. SQL Server has two different databases, you know. And you, what we can do, we can combine connect with all those databases and we can perf uh, create your own unified data on your APN and then you know you can work with, with that data that is also very easy and with, uh, very faster um you can see this this is kind of the admin interface which looks like and you know uh, there are a lot of configure you can do on a screen that you know we can see the chart is also there some user icon and with the name details and then you know some process milestones all those things are there right so this is what appian screens look like so yeah this is a reporting thing that you are seeing that you know uh, this can appian can really work with the real time data and then you know perform some uh, good explanation the reporting okay so as we are saying the bots right so uh, it's a full stack automation, you know, and productivity. We can we can use a bot, we can use artificial intelligences, and uh, to connect, to create a process model, and then so Appian uh, RPA and AI. These all Appian has introduced a new, I mean, you know, kind of type application features where needs to be installed and then can be used. Um, this. You can see this uh, picture, right? This picture is nothing for the process modeling. We have the process. You can see this process model. This the first one is called user interface. Where the and there's a, some sub process and the sending email, smart services, some uh, API calls, and you know what? The, these all things you can. Call. This is design of process model that, that works. And uh, yeah, this is what like you know um, you can manage your work. You manage the powerful decision logic using the expression rules. So this expression rules are, you know, nothing but to, uh, you know, do some uh, logics that you want. Let's like suppose if you want, I want to pass some ID and, and based on that ID, I want, to, I want to bring some, you know, associated data from the database so that we can perform into the expression rules. So similarly, the expression rules in the script task we have called script, uh, in process model, we have something called script task. In the script task is also used to do some business logic, calculate some business logic, perform some, you know, uh, data calculation which we may need to perform to the process modeling designing. Uh, we can easily integrate with the other system and then manage the documents as well. So document management is also very easy in Appian. Appian gives you the, its own repository where you can, you know, uh, perform some, uh, you can store your documents, uh, you can uh, download your document from there and then, you know, so Appian has its own uh, document repository. We call it a knowledge center. Definitely, yeah. It, it's uh, in uh, according to the Forrester, it says that you know this low code is twenty times faster than other custom codes designing. Yeah, as we discussed, like you know, this uh, contain process management, uh, reporting, collaborations, analytics, and the interfaces we have. Artificial intelligence can also be part of this Appian rules and then integration subject we have it. Um. So uh, right now, IPN is like you know very uh, highly demandable into the uh, healthcare finance and finance companies. These two, uh, you know, <coughs> organizations. I mean, the departments are there where IPN is being used a lot of. Um, so healthcare, they, like you can see, the Smurf, Johnson Johnson, Pfizer. <coughs> These all companies are using you know uh, IPN as as a development tool. If you talk about the uh, financial, so companies like Barclays. And then uh, First Republic Bank, all those companies are, you know, using this Appian as a as a fiction tool to build their applications. So it's very highly demandable in the market, and all those uh, customers are having, you know, many uh, vendors like uh, Combizent, Capgemini, Vipro, as a, you know, uh, their vendors to develop the application in the Appian. So it's very highly demandable right now in the market um product demo i mean uh, uh, if anyone has this appian installed because right now my uh, my password has got expired so, uh, so i was not able to show that how appian looks like 
uh, I can try with that, but it will take time, uh, like 40 to 45 minutes to retrieve that site. So we can see that, but um, if anyone has right now, uh, we can, if you can share, uh, I will be explaining that. Otherwise, we'll, we can, uh, you know, I can show you in the next session that, you know, how Appian looks like and all, how it does. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So this is the Appian architecture. Uh, let me minimize a bit. Yeah. Okay. So you see this one Appian architecture, right? So we have in interfaces layer, we have like four parts in interfaces layer. Every any application, not only Appian, any application will, can be divided into three parts, right? That is called front end, uh, back end, and then the process, right? Uh, like services is being used, right? So for in the front end, we have interfaces that can be using like using tempo and sites. So basically now nowadays every companies are started using the sites because it gives a look and feel wise like you know you are using some applications, right? Um, embedded interface uh, embedded interface is something that you know if you are using a third party application and then there you want to embed some appian interfaces there are limitations you cannot embed everything but there are some limitations but you can embed some of the appian interfaces in your third party applications uh it also has a designer page in the designer page it means like you know it um uh, this is basically for the developers where they can go and build their application and administration consoles like if something i mean administration console is allowing you to uh you know do some configuration changes like you know what kind of document you want you want to allow user to upload uh if you want to create some users if you want to do some ml authentication process if you want to create some api keys and all right so all those things you can perform into the administration console now in the services part um, it has web apis uh, you know that connect uh, with the third party and integration object you can use the plugins and all right so all those things is can be performed into the services part and uh, we have a data part in the data part we have different uh, databases so we can connect to you know, oracle mysql sql server ibm and all right and also it gives you a file system that i talk about right the knowledge center where you can use i uh, keep your documents on your uh, appian uh, repository that can be installed into your file system and a search server the search server is basically you now there are lot of inbuilt functions and all right if you want to search those functions and all right and then suppose if you, you have created some roles so if you want to search for that role so it also has a search server which is you know uh, why these have been defined separately why because you know appians distribute the memory separately for each of the system so you know it will be not it will be very easy to fetch and it will be very easy to maintain right so that's the thing you know, so this is such service uh, which comes into the uh, to search your uh, objects that you have created. Uh, so Appian interface is called Cell language. Cell is nothing but a self-assemble interface language. Uh, and it's very easy. Uh, you don't have to write much code. Uh, it's a drag and drop. So if you dra drag your text field, it will generate the code for you. You just have to do some uh, you know, small logic coding to that one. Uh, this is the cloud architecture of the appian um so it basically describes how your appians connect with the so appian has two instances one is the on cloud and one is the on-premise right so right nowadays every companies are using uh on cloud um very rare and very few companies are using like on premise i suppose uh, there are few companies which has a financial domain right they don't they have very restricted like you no know, other people cannot uh see whatever is, is available on, on on your database and all right so they use basically the on-premise but on-premise what's the difference between on-premise and on on cloud look and feel wise it will be same uh it just like suppose if you want to deploy some plugin <coughs> and uh, if, if you want to deploy some plugin which is easier in the on cloud on-premise you have to you know uh you have to shut down your server deploy your plugin and then restart your server so those kind of things are there yes so we are end of the session and if you have any questions answers uh, i'll take those questions please uh, yeah i just have a few questions so is coding prerequisite needed for uh, learning and developing appian 
I uh, I'll say no. Like if you are college pass out and you you have done codings like you know in colleges like if that's concerned that is more than enough. Even if you're not belong to the app in I mean coding background, that is also fine because the codings are very easy in app in uh, and then uh, once you start, it will give you confidence that okay, you know this is actually easier and you can do this. Coding background is not needed. Okay, and how it compares to Pega and the other competitors? Is Pega also so, similar to B? Uh, yes, BPM similar is. Uh, I mean, Pega is also a BPM tool. Uh, the thing is that Pega, in you know, uh, interface wise, if you talk about the interface layer, right? The interface is much uh, easier to develop in Appian. Uh, it's very enhanced. And it's very dynamic in feature. Uh, it also giving you so many, you know, uh, many other options like you know, divide your screen in multiple columns. Uh, it's designing and I uh, you know uh, look and feel wise, app can gives you more enhanced uh, interface to end okay. users as compared to Pega. Okay, and who are the other competitors? Because I, I don't have much idea about this BPM thing. So we have Pega, software. we have Salesforce. Uh, these all are the uh, major competitors right now in the market. Okay, okay. And uh, regarding the market for app, as you mentioned, most more mm -hmm. companies are starting to use it. Uh, but when I see on Nokri or any other job platform, there are very limited uh, uh, requirements posted for Appian. So how do you think of this? Like, are there uh, more roles coming up in the future or is it still in the developing? No, right now, maybe I'm, I'm not sure if you're looking in the correct place because what I can uh -huh. see there's Appian every time uh, uh, companies like Capgemini, Cognizant, Vico, they, they always require the Appian uh, profiles. Okay, okay. Okay, so, one last question. Yeah, yeah, so what all is covered in this course? Because, uh, is it uh, from end to end, like un understanding the language and developing a full built application? Is it everything hmm. covered in this course or will it just be an introduction or a preliminary kind of? No, no, no. So what we will be doing, we will be covering the entire application development. So what we will do, we'll start from like uh, some use case. For example, mm -hmm. uh, leave management system or uh, inventory system, you know, such kind of application we will take as a use case and we'll start development from the beginning and we'll see. And at the end of the session, you will be ready with one application for you. What we will not be capturing is like uh, RPA, uh, AI, uh, and then in, uh, this IDP is called like intelligent document processing. So these are the Appian application that has been built and there's a separate application for that one. That's that's an application has been built by the system. So we are not covering those things, uh, but we, we are covering the entire development process of an Okay, application. so by the end of this course, I will be able to develop uh, my own applications using Appian. Exactly, so right. how, how we proceed, you know, what we do, uh, I, start beginning with one use case and you know i suggest if someone wants to use the same use case they can do that or they want to you know use some similar use case they can also start with that one right so every uh, you know anyone we decide one day and we i look for the, the development what they have done how far they have completed right so uh, you guys also need to do the development uh, same time as, as i was doing on, during the uh, training okay okay i got it yeah, that's all uh, from my end. Thank you.